Secret Lives of Stars. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, Outreach Astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, Director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. Stars are not always what they seem. Most stars in the sky are really two, three, or more stars orbiting each other. Many stars wildly fluctuate in brightness. They're all different colors and temperatures. Some are newly born and others are nearing their dramatic demise. This week, we're going to look at three stars in the fall sky with hidden secrets. The first star is really two beautifully colored stars in a small telescope. The second will make your head spin. And the third is a lonely star with a funny name that gave astronomers a big planetary surprise. As our telescopes get better and better, we're uncovering the mysterious nature of stars trillions of miles away. Let us introduce you to the stars Albireo, Altair, and Fomalot. Okay, we have our skies set to 10 p.m. this month looking west. The most prominent feature in this part of the sky is the Summer Triangle. Look for the three brightest stars in the sky and you found it. The three stars are called Vega, Altair, and Deneb. Now Deneb is supposed to be the bright tail of the constellation Cygnus the Swan, but we're gonna zoom in on the fainter head star visible inside the Summer Triangle. This is the star called Albireo, and it's one of the favorites for amateur astronomers with a small telescope. When you look closer at Albireo, you find it's really a double star, two stars orbiting each other. The bigger one is orange in color, and the smaller one is brilliant blue. The contrasting colors make a cool and hot sight to see, because this tells us they're contrasting temperatures. The bluer, the hotter. The oranger, the cooler. They're like two beautiful jewels in the night sky. Now, let's get back to the star Altair and his hidden secret. Altair looks like any ordinary bright star, but Altair is one of the closest stars to us at only 17 light years away. And because it's relatively close, astronomers could uncover Altair's secret, its mind-boggling rotational rate, meaning it spins really fast. Our sun spins as well. The sun rotates about two kilometers per second at its equator, so it takes about 25 days for the sun to spin once at the equator. Now let's compare our sun to Altair. Altair is almost twice as big as the sun and shines 11 times brighter. But hold on to your seats. This sun spins extra fast at the equator. Altair rotates about 286 kilometers per second. That means that the entire star spins once every nine hours. This unbelievable rotational velocity has actually affected the shape of this star. Instead of a sphere, Altair is squished at the poles and bulges at the equator. The entire mass of the star has shifted and has left Altair looking like a rapidly spinning egg-shaped star. Next, let's look south at 10 p.m. where you'll see only one bright star. This is Fomalot, the brightest star in the constellation of Pisces Australis, or the southern fish. With a little imagination, you can make out a goldfish shape in these stars with Fomalot as one beady eye. Fomalot is a blue-white star 25 light years away making it in another close target to observe with the best telescopes. In 2004, astronomers detected a dust ring around Fomalo. We call it protoplanetary debris, or just a big ring of stuff, and everyone got excited. This was the kind of protoplanetary debris that might harbor a planet or even a whole solar system. And then in 2008, astronomers caught the first visible light image of a planet orbiting around another star, orbiting around Fomalot. You have to really squint, but there it is. So check out Fomalot tonight, the lone star in the south. That's not so lonely after all. Find rapidly rotating Altair in the western sky on the left side of the Summer Triangle. And don't forget to train your telescopes on Albireo to discover its second sun. When you look at the stars above, who knows what other hidden secrets you'll discover when you keep, keep looking, looking up. up.